Hello friends and welcome back to the horror section. This is going to be a uh, pickups video just showing you a few things I've picked up since my last video and it's also going to be a shout out so uh, here we go. First off I picked up this um, Murder Machines 3 DVD uh, set so pretty cool. Demonic Devices of Pure Mayhem and you got Murder Cycle, Crash and Burn and Robot Wars. And, of course, these are all full moons, so you're going to have pretty good fun with all these. Kind of a sci-fi, crazy horror movies that you got here. And I think I've seen most of all three of these, if I can remember right. And the one that interests me was Murder Cycle. Because that one, just, just the title just kind of interests me. That was crazy. And I actually got this from my buddy's thrift store. And after he seen it, he was kind of interested in it. I might have to take it back and let him watch it too. He kind of got interested in that one too. And as you can see, it's on, they're on three discs. There's Crash and Burn, Murder Cycle, and then there's Robot Wars. And the case is very, uh, discs come out real easy on it. But they're, uh, they're in good condition though. Just a kind of cheaper case. It doesn't... Hold the disc in place as well. But that's my Murder Machines 3 DVD set. If you've seen any of these mo movies, please comment. And if you've seen any of the movies on my video, please comment below. And uh, we'll see what else I got. Cool Murder Machines. I went from a triple feature to a double feature. The End of the Damned and Night of Fear. And both of these are two 70s Australian movies, if I'm thinking right. Hunted and trapped. Her nightmare is just beginning. Not a fear. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and um, the end of the damned. Pretty cool. In the tradition of Hitchcock comes the classic Australian suspense thriller. End of the damned. This the the film. If I can talk the film, they didn't want you to see. Night of fear. So pretty cool. And this one I believe is from seventy three. And the one down here is from 74, so some fun uh, 1970s um, horror suspense movies. So these should be pretty good. And like I said, if you've, com if you've seen these, please comment below. I'm kind of interested in both of these. Pretty cool. And I've got one here from my good buddy Todd Sheets. This is the unrated director's cut, and he is the director of Bone Hill Road. Hunger Shows No Mercy. Great cover. I love that cover. That's just an awesome cover. Pretty cool. And I'm glad um I've I've talked to Todd Sheets a lot on Messenger and he's always been real good to me, real friendly guy and stuff and I'm glad to see him get a uh, I guess a bigger uh distribution with this movie. He's kind of get it out there cuz uh Wild Eye release, I guess, has picked up this movie and they've kind of get it out there for people to see. You can probably pick this up at Walmart and everything. And I believe he said this is one of his uh, largest, uh, what would I say, uh, movie that's got out there before. You know, a lot of his movies, they've kind of been underground a little bit, you know, not shown as much. You know, not a lot of people may have been able to see them but with this one right here it's kind of got out there where everybody can kind of go get it at walmart and stuff so he's kind of happy about that and i'm i'm happy for him because he always does a really a really good job i don't think he has a big budget with a lot of his movies but he still does a really good job you know making his movies and stuff so uh, hats off to you todd sheets if you're ever watching this video i really uh dig your movies i'm glad you're getting a bigger audience with this one right here because uh, i've heard some good things about it and this is one that Wild Eye Releasing actually sent me to uh, to review. And I've watched a little bit of it because I actually had one that was signed by him and quite a few of the cast members and stuff. And I watched a little bit of it and it seemed interested, but I've just never watched the whole thing. It wasn't that I didn't like it. It was just that I just didn't have time to watch it. And it might have kind of got put on the back burner. I don't know. Excuses, excuses. But I'm going to watch this and try to give a good review for uh, Wild Eye Releasing and give a good review for uh, Todd Sheets. I'm going to check it out and see what I think about it. Hopefully it'll be pretty good because I've heard some good reviews on it. Everybody really enjoys it. So uh, like I said, I'm just happy for Todd that he's really got this movie out there for people to see how good of a director he is, you know, and kind of see his work better. So that's Bone Hill Road and uh, great job, Todd. 
Next up is Amy Smart, Christine Taylor, and James Marsden in Campfire Tales, Deep in the Woods, No One Can Hear You Scream. And this this is one that I've got kind of recommended to me by my good friend, the horror man. And he kind of, you know, I was asking him questions, you know, about this movie because I knew I could get it from a friend and he was willing to trade it. So I kind of asked him, is that a pretty good movie? Because I knew it was out of print. And he said it was definitely a, a pretty good watch. And plus it's out of print, so I got it from a friend. So I was kind of happy to grab this one. In the tradition of Scream, and I know what you did last summer, and I like both of those. They're not too bad. This one seems like a slasher anthology or something. I'm not really for sure. That's the way it kind of, when I looked it up on IMDb, it kind of, that's the way it read to me, the way people reviewed it and stuff. So I'm not really for sure on it. I'm not seeing it. Like I said, if you've got any for information about it, please leave it in the comments below. But uh, if it's good for the horror man, then I'll probably enjoy it. Because I usually enjoy most of the movies that he uh, kind of enjoys. So uh, he kind of recommended this one to me after I asked him about it. And he uh, said it was a pretty good movie. So I got it. So here it is, Campfire Tales. And plus it's out of print, I believe. So you can't really go wrong there. So looks pretty cool. The cover's pretty neat with the... Uh, four people up here on top and then the kind of the i don't know the slasher looking guy sitting over the fire kind of standing over the fire it looks like with a blade in his hand it looks like a pretty cool cover so uh campfire tales and thank you horror man for recommending this one and then i've got a six um six um master terror pack blu-ray masters of terror pack and this one's got halloween the curse of michael myers hellraiser Hell Seeker, I believe. Can't hardly read it real good. Cursed Venom, which is a pretty good, like, really weird slasher movie to me. I actually like the Venom movie. It's pretty cool. And then I got Darkness, which is all right. And then I got Phantoms. And Phantoms was the one that I didn't actually have on Blu-ray. I kind of like that one. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I still enjoy this one pretty good. So I was happy to pick this up. And I got it for a trade. And it probably out of print because it's Echo Bridge and a lot of their stuff's out of print. So, yep, and it's Hell Seeker. That's what I thought. I was going to flip it over on the back to make sure which one it was. So, uh, and of course, you got six movies. And I believe they're on two discs. Yep, two discs. So, um, that's pretty much what Echo Bridge used to do back then. They just stick their movies on, uh, you know, you get quite a few movies. But usually if you, usually they still look pretty good on a Blu-ray. If you've only got three of them on there, it doesn't really hurt them too bad. So I wasn't, you know, you know, if, if this is the only way I can get Phantoms, then that's fine. You know, if I, if they come out with another one, I might try to get a uh, single copy of it. But I'm not really for sure. But this right here will suffice me for now. And plus you get Venom and some of these other cool movies too. So wasn't really going to worry about it. And I got this from my buddy at this thrift store. So all I did was trade him one Blu-ray for this. So I thought I'd come away pretty good, you know, grabbing this. I've actually been looking for this and I've looked for it like on eBay. And they've had it for maybe 15 to $20 sometimes, a little higher. So I was happy to get this for just a trade. I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh. That's my six Blu-ray Master of Terror pack. Pretty cool, I think. And this is one for my good friend, uh, Ro Roasted Skulls. Uh, this is a waxwork media book. Waxwork. I barely, I barely can pronounce it. And he really enjoys his media books. And I found a couple of these that I really enjoy. And of course, they're all in, uh, I believe these are, uh, let me think, German so it's all in German, so I have no idea what any of this stuff says. And uh, I've got, if I can see it, I've got, I guess, Nameless is the name of the company. I've got 0176 of the 999 or 6, I guess it's 666. So I, there's only a, that many made, and I've got the 174th of it, so that's pretty cool. And... I actually like this cover better, but I got this real cheap, so this one doesn't look too bad. This one's not that bad, but uh, and I believe this Blu-ray, this Blu-ray is uh, region-free, if I'm thinking, and it's supposed to have a better uh, a better transfer than the uh, Vestron uh, 
best Vestron Blu-ray had is the, what I've heard. So I kind of open it up and see. And pretty much a media book, that's all it is. It's just like a book, of course, with pages in it. Shows some of the some of the scenes here from the movie. And I kind of like this waxwork movie. I always thought it was cool because it just you got all these different horror characters in there, and they're kind of you know you go into the waxwork, and you might go into the I don't know the vampire one, and you and you know and you might go into the mummy one, and you might go. It's it's just a cool movie. I thought it was really a cool concept. And I thought it was really fun. There's kind of the couple of the pictures in there and then there's the blu-ray looks pretty cool i actually like that the blu-ray looks cool it's got that of course it's got that nice curve to it so you can kind of see all the a few of the characters and stuff looks pretty cool if i can get the blu-ray up it's hard popping it out of there and there's a cool cool backdrop to it like that looks pretty neat so uh like i said i was glad to pick this up and since Roasted Skulls has been talking about media books, that I've actually picked up a few because of him, so I appreciate that, uh, Roasted Skulls. They're pretty cool. And this, uh, wax work, I, this is one of my favorite, just kind of, uh, I guess you could say, uh, cheesy, kind of fun movies. I always enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite ones. This is actually one of my favorite horror movies. I know it's cheesy, like I said, but I just enjoy it. It's kind of cool, just... Watching all the different, you, you kind of watch all the different horror movies in one horror movie. You know, you're kind of jumping into different scenes of different ones. I just think it's cool. And then it's got kind of a creepy wax museum, so that even adds to it. So it's just a cool, I think it's just a cool movie to me. I think it's pretty neat. And uh, last but not least, as I'm showing some of my movies here, I want to give a shout out to uh, a new person I've been watching a little bit and He's doing a really good job. He does a lot of unboxing. And uh, his channel is actually called uh, My 101 Unboxing. And I believe that's, I believe I'm saying it right. My 101 Unboxing. And uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to him below and uh, check him out. He does a really good job and he's been conversing with me and talking to me about my videos and I've talked about some of his and he does a good job of he gets the movies when they come out and unboxes them right there in front of you you know and you get to see what's in them it's pretty it's a good channel he does a really good job and I think he needs some more subscribers and stuff I think he does a really good job so uh, y'all check him out that's uh, my 101 unboxing i believe is his name i'm gonna i'm gonna put the link below so y'all just click on that and go to his channel watch a few of them subscribe you know send him some uh send him some good uh vibes some good comments and stuff like that so uh go check out my 101 unboxings so i guess that'll be it for my video and i'm going to start doing a few uh, i watch a lot of videos on uh, youtube really enjoy every lot of people's videos so i'm going to do do a lot more shout outs i need to shout out some of these people that i watch you know i really appreciate their videos and i want them to know it so uh i'm going to start trying to shout out a person every couple you know videos so uh That'll be it for my shout outs. And that'll be it for my, you know, my latest update, my latest, um, my latest pickups. So until next time, have a good one. See you.